Hi, I'm Logan Duval. Partnered up with the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture to highlight farmers, farmers markets, and even you pick. Hi, I'm Beth Eggers along with my husband Butch. We are at Y Mountain Flowers and Berries, which we began in 1998 and farmed until last fall in 2020. When we first bought this place, all you could see here was just pasture land. There was nothing here except uh, just grass and weeds. We did sell out last year and we've got a fabulous new couple, Sindra and Blaine, that are taking over the berry farm. And we just have fabulous customers who we know will support them too. This is our first time buying a farm. What they've built here is amazing. We lived in the city and there was, no, didn't even know our neighbors and we moved out here and people have already greeted us and welcomed us and offered help. Every day we find out something else that Butch has done or Beth has done just to bring this place along. We've in essence inherited that. Things are constantly shifting in agriculture. You know, we're always figuring out new ways to grow things or new cultivars. The climate is, is, is changing and so we're figuring out new ways to, to kind of deal with the new problems that pop up or new pests that emerge. And so we are kind of a resource to always pr provide kind of ongoing continuous education to growers across the state. You know, it's kind of a balancing act because at the same time, it's a lot of work to do so, and you, don't, you can't do it all in a week. It can be overwhelming at times. It's really it's, just, it's just getting the first year behind us. Yeah. The University of Arkansas Extension Office is going to be a huge resource for us, coming out everything from soil samples to telling us the health of our plants, uh, ultimately livestock if we have any of that out here. But we're looking forward to building that relationship over the years as well. Some of the work that we're doing right now with strawberries and blackberries and blueberries is just trying to figure out how can we grow those fruit crops here in Arkansas so that we're getting high yields and good fruit quality uh, to try and help our growers really access these local markets uh, and provide a, a product that's really high quality. Here with a fellow River Valley boy, Dr. Ron Indeed. Rainey. So Ron, super excited about this, this partnership together. Tell me what the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture is really promoting. No, honestly, we're promoting the Arkansas agriculture experience. The University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture, across many, many disciplines of science, nutrition works, but on the science side, we help our farmers produce these fantastic crops. And we help them produce in a way that they can provide economically for their families. So we just want to promote, just, just look at the setting, look at these beautiful flowers that are going to be berries pretty soon, to get more consumers to be aware, more Arkansans to come out and support their fellow Arkansans to experience this, this experience, this rural setting, but to experience this fantastic uh, flavor profile of biting into a vine ripened blackberry or whatever the fruit may be. Whatever it is, they can come either to the farm, to the farmer's market, just bringing everybody together. Absolutely, just wanting to promote that experience and to promote the opportunity for us to support each other. It's been some trying, trying years, so hopefully uh, one of the silver linings that I think we realize the, the real humanity of, of that human touch and engagement. And so let's just engage with each other and support each other in, in some more innovative ways. I love it, excited to be working with you, brother. Hey, excited for this, thanks. Arkansas strawberries are the first thing that we get really excited about. And Chef Scott McGee over at Zaza's knows exactly what to do with them. He's going to show us how to make the delicious strawberry gelato. I'm Scott McGee. I'm the executive chef of Yellow Rocket Concepts, also here at Zaza. And we're talking Arkansas strawberries today. And we have a great climate and soil for strawberries. And we have some amazing local growers who grow really, really high quality strawberries. And when you eat a seasonal, fresh picked Arkansas strawberry, it's a completely different animal than what you get in the grocery store the other 11 months of the year. Um, it's much, much sweeter. It has a lot more flavor, a lot more interesting characteristic, and a much better texture as well. Today we're gonna to make Arkansas strawberry gelato, which is very simple. It's milk, cream, sugar, Arkansas strawberries, and that's it. And that's kind of the beauty of it, which is really letting the strawberry shine through. First thing we'll do is pick out some berries that are ripest. I'll kind of go through them and find the ones that are bursting with sweetness and need to be used first. Because not every berry in every case is identical. We'll wash those, we'll cut them up, 
I'm looking for something that's almost, I mean, that's overripe to the point where it might even be a little bit mushy because uh, that's when there's the most sweetness. That's not perfect for a salad necessarily, but it is perfect for like gelato or something where it gets blended up. And then we'll put them in a little saute pan with a bit of sugar and we'll cook those down to cook the rawness out of them. When you cook them through, it essentially macerates them. If you cook a little bit of the water out, it helps avoid forming ice crystals in the ice cream. And then we'll take those berries and mix it with our milk, sugar, and cream base, which is our gelato uh, slash ice cream base. And you can take any vanilla ice cream base recipe, which is just the milk, cream, and sugar. And then we'll blend that up with what's called a burr mixer. It's like, it's like a big handheld blender. We will put that into the batch freezer and we'll freeze it. And once it's frozen, we will extract it out of the machine carefully, putting it into a pan. That pan then will go onto the line where we display and sell our gelato.